Hello, fish fools. Jeff here. So I'm on location in Framingham, Massachusetts. I'm at Tropic Isle Aquarium Fish Store. This is a store that I used to go to years ago when I was a kid, when I started keeping fish in seventh grade. And now I'm here visiting Massachusetts and I thought I would stop by. So one thing is they are at a new location. Um, they just recently moved, so they're still in a transitional phase. But this is one of the first tanks we have here when we walk in. We'll see plants. There's a cardinal tetra right there, a Siamese alligator. So I'm just gonna do a scan over of these plants here. Sorry for the glare there. And this is a nice little thing that you can suggest some easy low light plants. Let's go down below, check out some fish here. I already kind of scanned through here. And my, this caught my eye that Probensis right there, good size Probensis. And in this tank, there's a is that a fire mouth? One of these, is that a leaf fish, a bush fish, something like that? I think that would be a leopard, something or other. One of these. There's an angel fish right there. Um, don't really know what those are. Must be that perhaps. All right, over here. Got some rose line sharks in here. Green water. These are some salt water tanks. I don't know anything about salt water reef tanks. So I'm just going to turn around here. Angel fish. Tricolor sharks. I believe those are also called bala sharks. Those are the ones that are in. Oh, Pee Wee Herman and Pee Wee's Big Adventure. He look, has a, out his bathroom window is a fish tank, and it's, those are the fish that are in that movie. Stector by Corey's right here. Got some plants down here. Siamese algae eaters up top. Some dwarf garamis up here. Some black ghost light fish. Mostly hanging out in those tubes. Harlequin rasboros. Tank of plants down here. Some angelfish, science elevators, some more angelfish, some more rose line sharks. These are about, I have one rose line shark in my 30 gallon. I bought it about this size and it has grown. I'm gonna show you another tank of these by comparison. 
is a silver arowana. Spotted silken buckets. There's one hanging underneath that perfect right there. This one. I'm gonna turn around. And look at this tank. So here's some more Roseland sharks. These are big guys. So my Roseline shark, all these are useful. So the smallest one in here might be, let's see, maybe, maybe this one right here. And then it's still bigger than mine. I'll get some Roseline, I mean, some rainbow fish, and there's a Siamese allergy eater, full grown, it's like double the size of the ones I got recently. And some kind of sucker mouth catfish, I don't know what that is. This way. Some tequila sunrise guppies. These are like the ones I got. One of the two that I got recently. I got one of these at the same time as I got a white guppy. Tequila sunrise. I think I might have accidentally called it a sunset. That's, these are cool looking. Up top. We got some, these would be called peppermint platies. Very cool. If I had easy access to take these home, I'd probably get some. But since I'm on the other side of the country right now, I can't let them, don't have the means to ship them home right now. Blue variegated guppies. That's what I made that as. Very cool looking guppies. There's some more right here. Awesome looking. And this is also this is blue variegated guppies, but these are females. They actually look like, I think it might be labeled, but then these look like they might be the tequila sunset. Females, as well as lovers. Got some rocks down here. Come around the corner. Some rainbow fish. Some rainbow fish in here. And zebra daniels. And this plants. Prize Cryptocorn, Anubius. Anubius Nanji. Not familiar with that. Crypt Corrales, Anubius Nana. Very first plant I ever got, real plant, was Anubius Nana. Cryptocorn Undulata. Lensis Sagittaria. I'm not familiar with you know, Dwarf Sagittaria, but like it's another type of Sagittaria. Quantity Crispus. Crypticorn Tea. One of my favorite plants. Some here. Sprite and Osteria. 